Hey guys, my name is Scoby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add this cool GameCube controller overlay on your streamer recording using OBS. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is come to the Gamepad Viewer website. I'm going to be leaving links to this in the description down below. And we're going to be opening up this in a new web browser tab. Once this opens up, what we're going to be doing is seeing this nice screen here. And at the very bottom, we should see there are no gamepads currently connected. Please click any button to enable this. So at this point, you're going to have to connect your controller to your PC. You can use any controller. In this case, we're just going to map it to look like a GameCube controller. In this case, I'm going to be using an Xbox One controller. So as I press any buttons, this little pop-up should disappear. And then we can start to select the GameCube controller that we wish to use. So to do this, what we need to do is come to the very top and next to the currently viewing option. We're going to be clicking this drop down. And we're going to be selecting player one as this is the first controller connected to my PC. From this point, what we're gonna be doing is clicking the Xbox option right here. And it chooses the Xbox One controller by default because that's the controller I'm using. But in this case, we can change it to any other controller skin we wish. So what I'm gonna be doing is changing it to the GameCube controller. And as you can see, as I move around, some of the buttons will already be added. All of my buttons should work for the most part by default. Although we are missing one extra button that we can map somewhere else on our actual GameCube controller, which is the right bumper button. As you have the Z button right here, it's mapped to my RB. So you will have to map this in the settings, which I'll show you quickly right now. To map buttons, what you need to do is click the burger menu on the top left. What we're gonna be doing is clicking the remap button options. We can add a new button mapping. Here you can select which button you want to press, and then you can click the set and you can set to any button. It's really easy to do and set up. But for right now, I'm pretty happy with what this does. As you can see, all of my buttons are moving. Everything seems to be working for the most part, and there's no real issue here. From this point, we are gonna be doing one other thing, which is changing the background. As you can see, we currently have this orange brown background. What we're gonna be doing is changing it to a green color so we can easily chroma key this out once we get into OBS. We can do this by clicking the paintbrush icon right here, which is gonna open up this color select option. And then we can just select a green color from the options here, or you can select an exact chroma key or RGB color if you wish. In this case, just as green is fine. I'm gonna be clicking okay, and then your background should be changed. Now what you wanna do is try to keep it an opposite button from the actual buttons that are highlighted. In this case, it should be okay. I see the B button might cause a little bit of trouble, but it seems to be different enough that I hope I can do this in OBS. Now this may require a little bit of adjusting later on, but it's just a hit or miss. You gotta test it around and play around with it a little bit to make sure it matches your needs. So once you have all this set up, we're ready to jump over to OBS, which I already have open right now. So what we're gonna be doing is coming down to the bottom left of our sources in OBS. We're gonna be adding a new source and we're gonna be adding a window capture source. Give this a name if you wish. In this case, I'm gonna be naming a controller. Click okay and then your source should be added. Now from this point, what we're gonna to have to do is select the window that matches our source. In this case, I'm gonna be clicking this drop down, and I'm gonna be selecting our Google Chrome window that we just set up that has our source in the background. Once this is ready, what we're gonna be doing is clicking okay and you should see our source has added. Now, when I actually move my controller around, everything still shows up here in the source. But what we're gonna be doing is editing a few more things to make this match our needs. What we're gonna be doing is selecting our controller source right here. We're gonna be right clicking on this and we're gonna be selecting the filters option. And we're gonna be adding two filters here. The first is going to be a crop and the second is gonna be a chroma key to remove the background. So to add our crop, what we're gonna be doing is coming to the bottom left of this window, clicking the plus option right here. And then we're gonna be looking for the crop and pad option. You can give this a name also if you wish. In this case, I'm gonna be leaving it as is. And what we're gonna be doing is just removing this whole top section of our Google Chrome. We can do this simply by adding some pixels to the top option in our Google Chrome. And I'm gonna keep adding pixels until all this is removed. You can also click in here and type in some buttons if you wish, which might be a quicker option. In this case, I'm gonna be taking away 150. Of course, you take away as much as you need to. And from this point, we're also gonna be removing just some sides of the controller. So we just have the controller in our options. So what I'm gonna be doing is continually adding pixels until we remove as most of the sides as possible, just to make it a little bit cleaner. Once you're happy with this, we're then going to be adding our chroma key. Once again, come down to the bottom left of this window, click on the plus option, and then we're gonna be adding our chroma key. You can give this a name also if you wish, but in this case, I'm just gonna be leaving it as default. Click okay, and then our chroma key should be added. So by default, it's actually going to select the green color. But in this case, what we're gonna be doing is actually adjusting some settings. As you can see, my A button is currently taken out of this. So I'm gonna be turning down the similarity a little bit so it just takes out the green color. And here you can adjust some settings along with the smoothness, the color spill, the opacity, contrast, brightness, and gamma. And what I recommend is adjusting these until it's as clean as possible. So as you can see, we still currently show some green edges along the side of the controller. We wanna do your best to remove these colors so you don't actually have them on screen. 
So once you're happy with your settings, what we're going to be doing is clicking close right here. And as you can see, this looks pretty clean right now. So once again, just to test it, you can actually see me pressing my buttons. So as you can see, everything seems to work fine. There's no real color overlay or color spill. Even pressing the B button, which I thought might cause some issues, is actually not causing any issues right now, thankfully. So I don't actually have to go in and adjust anything. But of course, you can go back in and adjust things really easily. And OBS will automatically pick this up. So one thing just to make sure is you have to keep your Google Chrome window open at all times when you want to use this because you're going to be needing to capture that source all times. So what we're going to be doing is just scaling this down a little bit, putting it in the corner of our screen, and then we're going to be using it just to capture some gameplay so we can do whatever we need with our controller and everything should work just fine. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to add a GameCube controller to your OBS. You can use this to stream or record or whatever you need. It looks really, really good with our current setup and it's really easy to do. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.